Honourable Member Maggie Barry. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm very proud to rise to take a call on the budget policy statement, and I'm going to concentrate in my call today on the outstanding environmental and conservation policies that this John Key-led government have put forward. We understand only too well that this economy needs to grow, and that these RMA reforms and also the discussion document that we released at the Blue-Green Forum at the weekend, and I've got both of them here in front of me and have read them carefully, are the thing that will promote growth. Now, earlier the finance Minister Bill English laid out the business growth agenda and in his call he mentioned the importance of the RMA reforms and the vitally important water management. That's what's important to the economy long term and the job growth as we know and the opposition benches are clueless about emerges from a strong economy. Now, in my electorate on the North Shore, RMA processes, I'm told by my constituents all the time, are cumbersome, costly and time-consuming. I get a lot of feedback from the North Shore, and it's a part of the country that encourages business. And these people are business-friendly. They know how to grow their businesses. They tell me that the RMA system is difficult to understand and to use, and that they believe it is actively discouraging investment and innovation, and I agree. It's no surprise to me at all that when it comes to customer satisfaction, RMA matters rank the lowest of all public services in the Kiwis Count report. Now, why is that? There are just too many occasions where the view of one well-funded party manages to derail the decision of the community. Now, looking at some of the things that have gone wrong has been something that this government has done carefully. We've had plenty of examples for those dark nine years where Labor predominated on the Treasury benches. Over and over again, uh, we have seen with RMA processes in particular, planning happening almost by default as decisions are fought over on a consent by consent basis, blow by blow. It's a big waste of time and money. So fundamentally, the reforms that Amy Adams, the Minister for the Environment, outlined at the Blue Green Forum on the weekend will help to resolve that. They will provide greater confidence for business growth and create jobs, greater certainties for communities to plan for their area's needs, and stronger environmental outcomes as our communities grow and change. There's not time today to list all of the reforms, but I would commend you to read these documents, to be familiar with them, and to make submissions on them. Uh, that is a cry to the public, and I absolutely am wholeheartedly behind our RMA and water management reforms. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The question is that the motion be agreed to. As many of that opinion will please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. The ayes have it. Aye. Party vote has been called for. The clerk will please conduct a party vote. Thank you. New Zealand National, 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour, 34 votes against. Green Party, 14 opposed. New Zealand First, 7 votes opposed. Māori Party, two votes in favour. Mana, one opposed. Act New Zealand, one vote in favour. United Future, one vote in favour. Brendan Horan, opposed. Any other votes? Thank you. Honourable Members, the ayes are 63, the noes are 57, the motion is agreed to. Call on private and local order of the day.